I got a little dirty secret I want to tell y'all. So, you know, just come in a little bit closer. Like, don't, don't tell anybody this. My trunk, the key has been broken off in that thing for at least 10 years. So in order for me to get in my trunk, <laughs> to open my trunk, I got to crawl through the back seat. I got to pull a little lever. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how I um, get access to my trunk. So, I got this um, electrical, and I didn't really realize this, that I thought they were all the same, but they're the trunk latches are different from a, a full manual one as opposed to the electrical one um you, you know you think it would, ford would have just made them all electrical and it, they do that in some of these cars like they have the components there for an option but just don't hook it up but for this trunk latch it's specific to whatever um model that has the power windows seats and all that this being a V6 with roll-up windows, manual seats, it didn't have any real power options. So I grabbed this from the junkyard some years ago and never got around to installing it. And there's a bunch of different reasons why. I, at the time, didn't really feel comfortable drilling out the old lock, but never fear, technology's here. <laughs> I've got a um, remote relay. So basically, uh, one thing I'm going to do is wire in this relay to this little switch motor right here. And I've got a little key fob. So whenever I want to access my trunk, that's that. And that key can stay in there for another 10 years. Um, we're going to work on that right now. We'll go through the little short little uh, install of that. And I want to talk about what's going on with my trunk too. My man Shovel a long time ago said that I should probably um, redo the trunk because, and I didn't know this man, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things, you, you know, you, you have stuff, you don't really think about it, you throw it away and then you kind of wish like, man, I wish I already had that. The trunk linings, there's no new company. There's no company that makes new trunk linings. So, you basically have to, you know, buy it secondhand. And that's kind of the journey that I'm going down right now. I'm actually thinking about trying to, maybe we still might do this because it's it's off season. It's down season. The car is going to be put up. I have a lot of time. So maybe I might try to fab something up myself and um, see if I can, you know, get some um, upholstery in the trunk of that car. Talking about upholstery. You know, just doing some research on something today that I think I might um, might have a product for y'all, an SN95 exclusive product for y'all for your interiors of your car. So um, I'm putting that together right now. We'll see where that goes, but let's um, get into this trunk and let me show y'all the nonsense that I have to go through in order to open my trunk. All right. Got to make sure there's nothing in the back seat. Got to let down the seats. Okay, and then I got to crawl almost in the trunk. Legs flailing and pull my little lever. And now I can take you out back here and you can see what I did. So I got a video and I don't know if I'm going to show you all this where I'm at the junkyard and I'm trying to be a criminal and, and break into a trunk at the junkyard and I suck at it. What I'm doing here. Thank you. 
Or maybe I could be a, a pretty good criminal. But pretty much all what I have now is this, this right here. I just pull that and that releases the trunk. Speaking of trunks, I threw away all this paneling years ago. I have no idea where this stuff is. So now um, what I wanna do is I wanna get my trunk looking nice. I'm gonna go with a different subwoofer setup and now that I'm looking at this, um, there's a box. You've probably seen this thing on eBay where you have a subwoofer here, subwoofer over there, and like a little um, panel that goes across. If I do that, um, got to worry about having access to my tank. Or I, I could just let this kicker stay right here. I think the biggest thing I want to do is redo my wiring. I would like to get paneling. I think the paneling might fit around this. I think this um, battery can stay. And I think my paneling can, can go around that. Definitely want to redo this wiring, like I said and get this trunk nice. I do like the subwoofer um, enclosure that kind of mounts that way and the subs are firing out. That's another option. But first things first, I gotta find some kind of really good paneling. So uh, to take this off is only, let me see, it's only three bolts, one, two, three and this thing will come off, I could put the new one on and then it's all about routing um, power to it. All right, let's, let's just kind of play with this in real time here for a second. Now, if you know me, you know I always like to function test things. So let's just set up a quick little function test. Purple would be my hot, my black, and a nice trunk. Bryson, if you ever watch this video when you're older, your dad still uses this Father's Day gift. Now, I think I remember the outside was my hot. This ground, um, is anything supposed to happen? Okay, we got a button, let's see. So now let's try to get this decimal mounted. All right, let's take this old Dessel off. I'm actually using my camera as my guide. This should almost hand turn. All right, so I think I got it. 
this thing right here is like a mercury level switch. So as the trunk goes down, it breaks the circuit and that light turns off. Um, so I, I ran the 12 volts to basically the main 12 volt feet for this light setup up here. And that's down over here by the inertia switch. So now let's give it a test. Make sure everything lines up. That light should turn off. That should still have it. There we go, works like a charm. So if, if you have a, a manual trunk, and I'll leave a link to this product in the description, and you want to add a, um, so I can just, I can pull that back there so that's not dangling anymore. So yeah, if, if you want, if you have a manual trunk and you want a very easy way to add a uh, remote unlock, this little kit was $11 from Amazon and um, fairly simple to hook up. One thing I do is just find a constant 12 volts and you know, you have this little pigtail right here coming out of the latch. So I'll um, show you exactly where I powered this up at. All right, so let me show y'all what I end up doing. I know I should probably use some kind of cover or something to hide that ugly wire, but I'm not gonna worry about it. This is the plug that I use for my 12 volts. It goes to this like green wire. So you have a brown, a red, a black, and a green wire. So it's the, you have a brown, a red, a black, and a green wire. The furthest bottom right plug is what I tapped. And I just used the ground that was already up here. And now it works. So I am super excited to have a functional What would you call that? Um, trunk release. What I do want to do is get the paneling. Actually, I, I might get this subwoofer. I'll um, show y'all real quick what I'm talking about. Subwoofer that has um, a box right here, a box right here, and a flat panel. What I would probably end up doing is just cutting the flat panel out so I can have access to my coolant tank move the battery more centered and um, not worry about this car being a drag car. All right, I really like the fact that I was able to get the trunk situated. I, like I said, I'm gonna start this journey. I don't know if it's gonna be this weekend or next weekend. The weather is still kind of nice to say it's gonna be November soon. Um, the, the next seven day forecast we're looking at temperature is still in the 50s I think really until first sleep ice I might just keep driving this car but had a great time um, the next video let me just drop this teaser on y'all I had an opportunity to get up with my guy CY Christian and we uh, went to KRW's um, trunk or treat I had a post community post about that and we actually linked up with this um, I believe it's Deep Forest Green, 94, 95 Mustang. It had an old school Power Dime supercharger on it. Real cool guy, uh, I believe his name is Dino. So he pulled up on us and um, had like a little little mini SN95 photo shoot. So look out for that video. That's probably gonna be my next video, but this is officially a Tech Tuesday video. And I think this is pretty cool for us 
non-powered trunk guys is a, a nice little option on how to get a um, remote trunk unlock for really under 20 bucks i'll leave the parts down well the amazon part down in the description and really it's just fine. it doesn't matter if it's a new yet new edge either it's the same trunk release so it doesn't have to be a 90 you know an early sn95 it can be a new edge you can use um that trunk latch also so hey we might have more footage of us doing stuff with this car it just really depends on the weather my man chewy i'm trying to get up with him to try to do a possible uh photo shoot before the end of the year it's some little stuff i'm, I'm going to do to this car before um next year i'm really going to try to make it down to mustang week um that's the goal but you know we'll see if i can't make it to mustang week i'm going to do ponies but i really want to make it down to mustang week logistically there's just a lot going on to um, try to make it down there to mustang week but hey i appreciate all the team members who are out here supporting me more than liking and subscribing i appreciate y'all rock with me on this uh, long video till next time god bless